Hello everyone, and welcome to another devlog. My name is Dog Demon, voice actor and marketing specialist at Northwood Studios, and today we're talking about the future of our project. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. After almost a year of development, Mega Patch 2 has been released. During the last few weeks, we've been working on new hotfixes and smaller patches for the most commonly known issues. We have also been listening to feedback regarding in-game balance changes, which resulted in version 910, also known as Mega Patch Mini Patch. And before you start asking, we are aware of a number of still unresolved errors, bugs, and connection issues, and we're continuously working to fix them. Our game is quite big, and its stability depends on our back-end systems that we completely rework in Mega Patch 2. And this is why we ask for you to be patient with us. At this point, we hope you're enjoying the new features, and from here on out, things can only get better. We've decided to take a break from the Mega Patch format and release a few medium-sized updates on a more regular basis, as discussed in our last stream. However, you can be rest assured that the Surface Zone rework is still being worked on as a secondary project for our artist. We just want to use our resources for further updates that we plan to release approximately two or three months apart from each other. We have recently started working on version 10.0.0, our next content update. It's definitely not going to be as big as Mega Patch 2, but it's easier to define our possibilities while working on smaller patches. Don't worry though, it will still introduce new dynamics and you'll definitely find something for yourself. Naturally, we won't tell you everything at once, but we'll outline the most iconic features so you will know what to expect. The most important addition is the stamina bar, a huge game changer. It drastically affects the approach to map exploration and chases. We will be testing multiple configurations of the system to make sure it won't collapse the current balance structure of other mechanics. While we do want to maintain the current gameplay dynamics, we would also like to enforce a more tactical approach to the movement system instead of keeping it as an arcade element. The second addition is the expansion of status effects. Status effects are very well known by fans of role-playing games. By definition, a status effect is a temporary modification to a game character's stats or behavior. If you played our game long enough, you might have noticed that we already have a few status effects. For instance, SCP-207 activates an effect that increases your movement speed. SCP-268, on the other hand, activates the invisibility effect, and flash grenades can temporarily blind you. In version 10.0.0, we'll be adding a handful of new status effects, starting from the basic ones like bleeding, poisoned, stunned, or deafened, ending with effects like paranoia, amnesia, concussion, and many others. We have also prepared a special feature that we're currently working on, but this is something we'd like to present in a more spectacular fashion. Forgive our secrecy, but rest assured, we aren't resting on our laurels. We still have many future surprises waiting for you. In the previous devlog, we asked for your questions, but most of them became outdated under the influence of time. Recently, we made a YouTube post asking again for your questions, and we have decided to answer the five most liked comments. The first question was posted by Clucky the Chicken Lord. <laughs> I like that one. The question is, will there be any more playable SCPs, and if so, what should we expect? Unfortunately, the answer may be disappointing for many of you, but we will definitely not be introducing any new playable SCPs before Mega Patch 3. We really want to get all currently existing SCPs reworked before we start introducing new ones. Our game still uses SCP Containment Breach models and sounds for the SCPs, and many of the currently existing classes are either unbalanced or simply unfun to play as or against. Another question, or actually two questions, from Simple Wolf Studios. If you add true random map generation, will you change certain gameplay mechanics to accommodate this system? such as different map sizes? Improved map generation is definitely one of our plans for the next updates. And yes, we have been planning on adding more variety, including different map and room sizes. There is also a number of different mechanics we could add, but because the map generator is also a balancing factor, some of the mechanics will be added as a result of our balance tests, such as more environmental hazards. And it happens to be the topic of the other part of this comment. Are you considering adding environmental hazards such as fire into the game? Maybe fires are a little bit too much, 
Well, in my opinion, I think they'd be fun. But like we said before, the answer for environmental hazards is yes. Tesla gates, for instance, can be counted as the first true environmental hazard in the game. And they preserve such a title until the last patch, which included sinkholes. Currently, this feature is experimental, and sinkholes don't spawn by default. They need to be enabled by the server owner. They don't look beautiful. Many players think it's just a rendering glitch, like the one that happens to blood from time to time. But they are actually here because we wanted to test how much a simple environmental hazard can change the gameplay. If you don't know what sinkholes do, they slow down humans, but not SCPs. This way, players need to run around the sinkholes to successfully escape from a chasing SCP. Another two questions from Doomguy, but since the second one has already been answered, we'll focus on the first one. Are you planning to add more SCP items? If so, which ones? This is going to be a short answer. SCP items don't need to wait for reworks, because we're satisfied with how they currently work, which means that we are indeed planning to continue adding them on a more or less regular basis. Which ones? We don't know yet, but the chances of running out of ideas is really small. Fourth comment from Rosalita Tomasina. Will Mega Patch 3 be in 2020? We really hope to release Mega Patch 3 in 2020, but since it's now a separate project, we are unsure for how long we'll be dealing with it. But it also depends on how soon we will get bored with a new form of medium-sized patches. Last question from Wayne, <laughs> this guy. <clears throat> will there ever be a dev made plugin support? Actually, good timing, because we started work on a plugin loader literally a few days before this comment was posted. You're good at mind reading, aren't you? And that concludes our second devlog. Last time we asked to put your questions in the comments section, but this time we'll probably make another YouTube post right before the next devlog to get more current questions. That's it for now. Leave your thoughts below and see you next time.